I V M. You are the most valuable investment you will ever make. Hi, I'm Zarina Poonawala, your leadership coach, life coach, and emotional intelligence coach. You probably know me from the Empowering series, and this is my new show, The Life Manifesto with Zarina Poonawala. I'm going to coach you to be the best version of yourselves. So get ready to create, attain, and manifest. the life you've always desired and make it your reality one of the most beautiful feelings in life is when you fall freshly in love it's all new and it's amazing you give and you get so much attention you are desired you feel wanted you feel seen and you feel heard butterflies in your stomach and sparkle in your eyes and that blush that blush on your cheeks it's such a beautiful feeling right it feels like this is it this is everything for me i don't want any more it's all i need it's all i want the intimacy is strong the attraction the chemistry you just want this to last forever and that feeling it makes you open up fully to the person you love the love of your life and you literally bear your soul to them don't you but one day it all ends it ends so badly it's so painful the heartbreak shatters you so terribly i don't know maybe the love of your life used your trust your faith your vulnerabilities against you maybe they used the love you had for them against you and that broke you you vowed with that broken heart never ever to let your guard down again never to allow anyone to hurt you like that again and never to break you like that again studies have shown that when you withdraw from romantic love the withdrawal symptoms that your body experiences are similar to those when you are addicted to substance abuse that is an intense form of love when somebody takes away something that you're addicted to that you love that you cannot live without you feel that kind of pain your body shows withdrawal symptoms and you feel exactly the same or similar and you feel that you can feel a similar experience when you are broken hearted so now you are trying to figure out what the problem is with you okay and you're trying to reason with yourself what was your fault why did this happen what did i do it took you time to cope and with that deep pain inside you you went on but you never really healed from it you either became quiet and shut yourself to the outside world you became the comedian of your group camouflaging your pain behind all that laughter <laughs> or you became incessantly chatty just to divert that killing silence inside you I know I know it's difficult it's hard and it's absolutely devastating because when you've been broken hearted it's not easy to fix that piece of you again usually the way people visualize a broken heart is in two pieces and when you see that metaphorically it just feels like no matter how much i fix it no matter how much i try to heal it the damage is already done and you know what it gets worse it gets absolutely worse when someone tells you you should love again You should feel again. You should trust somebody again. Oh, you don't know. It's not so bad after all. How can you? I mean, at this point in time, let alone someone else, how do you trust yourself to make the right choice anymore? You've probably felt this. You felt cheated, you felt shattered, you felt devastated. Maybe not once, maybe twice, maybe thrice, and you've started to wonder, can I even trust myself? Forget the other person. But you know what? You have to learn to trust yourself. You have to learn to trust your gut. You have to be able to build yourself again and again and again every time. Every single time. You have to learn to heal, not just cope. What you do is you cope. You don't heal. You don't heal from a broken heart and that's why loving again, opening up again becomes so difficult. Now I know it's difficult, but I'm still going to give you a couple of things that you can do to fix that right away. and make sure that you do not lose the opportunity of experiencing something beautiful with somebody beautiful in your life what you will do is you will start by staying away 
<laughs> you heard me right. You will start by staying away from the traps of a rebound. It is very likely that out of that feeling of abandonment or rejection, you might be attracted to the next instant validation that you get. So you know what you do? You jump into something immediately. But that's not opening your heart, all right? That's escapism. You're not trying to escape here and you don't need to do that and you don't need to do that. Please don't do that to yourself. That's being dishonest and unfair. Not just to you but also the person you might be rebounding with because maybe one day you will leave them broken hearted. So start by staying away. Consider being unbiased for a minute. Think about this, okay? The red flags you should have noticed that you probably didn't because you were blinded by love as they say and and you let go of the times that it was right in front of you you could see it but you couldn't see it or you just let it go because you felt like no this can't be true your perception of this person was something else so you did not want it to be true try and become aware of how much you gave into those demands and also consider the times that you as a personality became too insecure or needy basically you seem to have shown some red flags yourself too it's possible if not necessary but it's got to be unbiased all right maybe they made you feel this way maybe it's your core you need to figure this out you need to do this for your own mental peace because it's not just you who needs to take signs and understand these red flags but you also need to understand with a very rational mind whether you have certain red flags that can push somebody else away from you or are you attracting toxicity all the time so be unbiased for a minute here okay this one's my favorite because i've noticed this in a lot of people please do away with the snapping and sarcasm after a heartbreak i've usually noticed people become so bitter that they seem to speak in a very hurtful tone very salty very sarcastic like you share something happy with them and instantly they will do anything to put you down or make you realize what a horrible idea it is or you try to help them and they snap back at you because they are probably living in denial redo your communication please do this now because not everyone is out to get you or hurt you or break you some people in your life they want to build you they want to help you and you should give them a chance please don't push them away because of your communication style your heartbreak is not everybody else's fault and it's not everybody's responsibility either and you've got to deal with that experience that's a journey you have to walk but there will be people on the way who are going to try and help you on that journey don't push them away because suddenly you've become so bitter so sarcastic so salty that you start breaking hearts of those people who love you so don't push them away because of your communication style expectation settings yes create certain expectation settings i am aware and we are often told way too often in fact that we shouldn't expect i have caught myself saying that as well a couple of times we shouldn't expect but i'll rephrase this because i know in love it's hard not to expect okay it's hard when you love people you expect from them but i think you know what Let's consider expectation to be hope. Sometimes you can be hopeful that a person will understand you. You can be hopeful that a person will be able to read through you. But expectations, high expectations, they ruin your relationships even before they start. Maybe you need to set a certain standard for yourself. Most often you realize your ex wasn't even your type. Isn't that right? I mean, I hear so many people telling me that I can't even believe I was with him. I can't even believe I actually dated her. I mean, look at us. What was I thinking? Right? And I don't like that. I don't like that because you know what? You didn't have an expectation setting. You didn't set a standard for yourself. And that's okay. It was what it was, all right? You don't have to be guilty about it. And you don't have to think of the other person in a demeaning manner either. But this time around you can do something right you can set those standards you can want an independent secure confident person in your life you can want somebody who has that growth mindset you can want someone who enjoys your company and to make that happen you've got to think it you've got to work in that direction you've got to make sure that you're thinking about all the good things that you want setting a certain standard 
not unrealistic expectations not unrealistic standards but just a better way to protect yourself don't you think take your time but don't shut down i mean people say it takes really long to heal from a heartbreak some people heal faster than others right or rather cope faster than others just take time take time to heal now there is absolutely no time limit you can take forever all right you can take forever to get over somebody or out of it but but i'm going to say this you do know your life has an expiry date right so take time but not so much that you let your lifetime pass by you be emotionally intelligent look love is always going to be risky you can trust you can be loyal you can give it your all you can give it everything you have and yet someone may not want to be with you anymore but remember that doesn't mean you aren't enough it means you just outgrew them and that's a risk you have to be willing to take in love all right you could minimize the heartbreak by understanding your own emotional responses walking away from the blame game healing your heart learning from your experiences and opening your heart again but this time you can take the lessons that you have learned and take them with you and leave that bitterness behind that's what emotionally intelligent people do believe me when i say at some point in your life you will be heartbroken if you aren't already and for now for then and for whenever it happens i want you to remember that your heart is not meant to be given it's meant to be shared with somebody and sometimes you just share it with the wrong person you share it with a person who doesn't value your heart but that doesn't mean your heart was wrong to choose it means you are willing to give your life a chance ready for better so open that heart up again it's okay to be vulnerable it's okay to be hurt it's also okay to be heartbroken but your heart may visibly look like it's cracked in the middle but your heart is completely yours and you can decide whom you want to share it with so the next episode will be on red flags and i'm going to take you through the kind of red flags that you must be able to read and maybe sometimes it's also something that you visibly portray so stay tuned for that one and remember this is your life so you do what you love and do it often and if you don't like something change it the power is within you thank you for tuning in to the life manifesto with me zarina If you find the show useful then please share it with your friends family and coworkers you never know you may just help someone become the best version of themselves and if you want to align your life with some signature master classes certification courses and live sessions with me go check out and download my app life manifesto with zarina punawala available on play store or apple store And if you have any suggestions or anything that you would like to share with me get in touch with me on my social media handles I am at Zarina Punawala on Instagram and LinkedIn and at Zarina Speaks on Twitter see you in the next episode Hey everybody it's been another great week on the IVM podcast network On Storytellers and Storytellers, Vineet talks to acclaimed filmmaker Nikhil Advani about his latest web series, Rocket Boys. On Pesa Vesa, Anupam talks to Nitin Gupta, founder and CEO at Uni, about their new pay one-third card. On Ryan Organics, with us Ubaya, founder of Sweat, bursts some pretty pervasive myths around fitness for women with Kunal. The Simplified hosts deconstruct all there is to artificial intelligence with AI practitioners Karthik and Shivam. And on all things policy, the Takshashila folk discuss evolving notions of warfare with the advent of digital technologies. Do follow us on social media. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our others, for that matter, please do tell a friend. Don't forget to rate us on any other platforms that you're listening to us, whether it's a rating, whether it's a review, it all helps. And do remember to check us out on YouTube. We have a number of channels. They're available on ivmpodcast.com slash YouTube. And finally, I'd like to thank our sponsors this week, Bank of Baroda, CoinSwitch, Kuber, and HDFC Life Insurance. Thank you so much for making this possible. Have you ever wondered where the business world is headed? How the ways in which we create, market and sell to consumers will evolve? Or if we'll ever go back to wearing pants while working? 
for answers to all of this and more, tune into Advertising is Dead with me, Varun Dugirala. Every Tuesday, as I talk to entrepreneurs, leaders and change makers from across business, media, marketing and beyond, you can catch all episodes of Advertising is Dead on the IBM Podcast website, app or wherever you get your podcasts from. Thank you.